There are times when there are lots of things that we've got to do without. Luxuries have to go one by one and we come down to the essentials, the things we cannot do without. I want to talk of one of those things now. I'm thinking of faith. You can't do without faith. You've been living on it since you were born and you'll live on it till you die. People tell us sometimes that they haven't any faith. But they have. What would you feel like if you hadn't a scrap of confidence in those around you upon whom you depend every day for all sorts of things? But confidence is faith. You put your trust in them. That is what faith is, and that's how faith works. On your way to business, you have to show great faith. There is the engine driver, for example, and the bus driver, and all sorts of car drivers. That is merely getting to business. But in business itself, you find yourself doing just the same thing. How could you conduct that daily business without confidence? Call it credit, if you like. But really, it is faith again. Faith in the other man's word, in the other man's bond, probably in the other man's character. When you come home, there is faith waiting for you again. Home is another thing that we can't do without. But we should have to do without it if we couldn't trust our folk at home, or if they couldn't trust us. As you know, it takes more than a house to make a home. Lots of people in fine houses are homeless, poor things. Nothing can make a home except love and trust between husband and wife, between brother and sister. Be thankful for that, for a wonderful faith. Why then should it be so hard to trust God? We are using faith all day long, and yet some people look startled when we bid them put their faith in God. Why, we are always saying that we have faith in a good cause, faith in the right. And we say also that right must win. Whatever might stands up against it, so it will. But what is this right that can never be changed, and never be overcome? It is the mind of God, the will of God. Therefore, nothing can ever alter it or defeat it. Do bring that home to yourself. If you believe in God, the God of right, own up to that belief in your own life and heart. Try to live up to it. And every day ask for his guidance and his help. Only that can make you equal to life. You know how much you need it. We all do. I tell you, it is something that you can't do without. I trust all sorts of people. Why shouldn't I trust God? He knows. He cares. He helps. I need him all the time. Live.